Now, a German spy has gone on trial, accused of betraying his country in one of the biggest cases of treason in decades. The case centres around a top official from Germany's Foreign Intelligence Agency. He is alleged to have turned spy for Russia. Prosecutors believe the man and an accomplice shared top secret documents regarding the war in Ukraine with spies in Moscow. Investigators say the men received thousands of euros in return. And we are joined now by Gerhard Konrad, an intelligence advisor for the Munich Security Conference. And he also used to work for Germany's Foreign Intelligence Service. Mr. Konrad, welcome to DW. Thank you for your time. The focus of this um, trial is a top-ranking official within the intelligence service. Can you tell us how are these people vetted and how long does it take to reach such a senior position where they have access to top-secret information? Yeah. Well, uh, initial vetting, for example, uh, takes uh, at least one year uh, when you uh, enter the service, at least one year. And uh, normally, uh, this kind of officials are being vetted uh, time and again after uh, 10 years, after a 10 years gap. Uh, then there is a new renewed uh, vetting procedure, again, taking some six to 12 months regularly. Uh, in the present case, uh, reports say the vetting uh, took uh, longer uh, for this uh, gentleman, but this was due to administrative, obviously, to administrative restraints. That means uh, just a lack of staff yeah? managing the thousands of vetting processes you have over time with the 6,500 uh, members of the service. So help us understand then how difficult it would be to smuggle top secret uh, information out of the German intelligence agency. I mean, what would the accused have had to do? Well, uh, obviously, uh, it seemed not to be too difficult. He had direct access uh, to the secrets he was responsible for. So he was able to just uh, take them out of his uh, computer. He was... Uh, he was authorized to do so in principle, of course, not to uh, to make use of them uh, in the way he did. Uh, so taking it out of the system uh, was within his uh, capabilities and his authorities. Taking them out of the premises, of course, not under no circumstances. And the question is uh, how strong uh, control mechanisms uh, uh, are in the service. You possibly know that uh, just as late as uh, November this year, uh, Legisla uh, legislation uh, took place in order to increase and to build a basis for an increased security mechanism uh, for not only the BND, but all the federal intelligence services uh, of Germany. OK. Could you give us any more uh, information on the kind of information that he allegedly passed on to Russia and how much damage this will have caused? Well, here I have to rely, uh, as uh, all of you and all of us, uh, on what has been leaked. Uh, and we should be very cautious uh, concerning the uh, veracity and the relevance of uh, what has been leaked uh, uh, from the documents. But uh, it appears uh, that uh, a sensitive technical uh, uh, capability to monitor uh, 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 communication uh, within the Wagner mercenary group uh, was, uh, let's say, betrayed. Uh, so uh, for a certain time, uh, uh, it was then not any more possible for BND and possibly partners to intercept uh, that kind of uh, military communication, which is, of course, of high relevance uh, during wartime. So if this is true, it uh, and uh, the court will have to establish with this is uh, whether this is true and can be proven, then of course it's a very, very serious uh, uh, damage done for at least a certain time. And a massive security failure by Germany's Federal Intelligence Service, surely. Yeah, it's a security uh, uh, failure. Uh, as I said, uh, it can be done. Uh, you know, it's uh, a problem all services have time and again. It's very rare, but sometimes it happens. Uh, if you misuse, if a member of the service misuses uh, his or her authorities. Gerhard Konrad, thank you so much for your insights today. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. My pleasure.